What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's FFDev here. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about classes and header files and showing you exactly showing you exactly what those are. Alright, so I opened up our last little project that we set up SFML in. We got our little test window and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and comment this out. You can do that by adding the slash and the star and then the star and then this other and then another slash just like this so this way this codes basically just one big comment and it won't run all right if you remember in our our zombies uh, zombie text based game that I made and shows you um everything can get kind of complicated and the code can be really hard to manage so that's where we're going to talk about header files this right here is the header file that we're using for the SFML graphics but we're going to talk about creating our own like if you remember um, our log class, and we're also going to be talking about classes. So you know like when we had our uh, log class, we could do something like this. And create it real quick, and then we put a name for it. Forgot to name my variable. So we could create our class like that, and then we could use the log function, but then in our main file here we got functions everywhere we're gonna I'm gonna show you a way to avoid having to do all this to keep to keep all your code from being in main so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that what we'll do here is go to our source our source folder we're gonna right click we're gonna add a file and we're gonna do this through a class now one thing I don't like about creating creating a you can create each file individually or you can create a class it creates a, uh, we're just gonna name it the logger that's what we're gonna do. L O G G E R logger. The only thing I don't like about creating a class of Visual Studio like that is it never puts it in the right folder. So what we need to make sure we do is so once it's created, you can hold Shift, make sure you have your logger CPP file and your logger header file, then drag it and drop it to the SRC folder. Hit OK. Now it's in the same same area as our main function, same folder. And if you see when you create a class this way, by creating class instead of creating a header file and C++ file individually, in the header file, it or in the C++ file, it automatically includes logger.h. And it's done with um, in the little uh, quotations instead of the arrows, the arrow brackets. So what we'll do here in our actual logger class is um, classes are set to private by default so it's the same as having this here and if you want it to be set to public you can put public which controls what when I'm creating an object I'm going to show you what functions can be accessed so we're just going to think of it this way under the public we're going to create a void log function and in here in the header file, all that you do is you give it, um, you know, like the uh, constructor for it. Or you can assign variables. Variables can be set and assigned. So, like, let's say we want to assign an integer and you want it to be private. We could do that. Or you could do the same thing. I'll show you just for the fun of it. We're not actually going to do anything with it but we're just putting these here just to show the difference between the private and public alright so now we have our log function what we want to do to build the func to actually be able to use this is we got to define it but you don't define it in the header we're gonna go to our logger.cpp file then we're gonna type in void because it was a type void you're gonna type in logger and then if you put the double colons you'll see log then we add this, add our parentheses and add our brackets. So now we have our log function here. And on this, I didn't even think much about it, but we need to make sure it takes in the string. We're just going to recreate that same class we had earlier. And ah, you see we're getting a little error here. And that is because we did not have IO stream. We need to make sure that we include. IO stream. 
Oh, we don't want to include that. <laughs> Alright. So now that we included IOStream, all of a sudden this is valid. Now when we go to our main fun or not our main function, our logger class, our logger CPP file, it's include logger is included. The header file is included, so it now has IOStream in it as well because this header here has all your includes. Is what you want to put. You want to put all your includes in the header. All right. So now that we have our function where we can use it, we're going to have to add the same parameters. We're going to have to add a string. Now all we can do is say, have to do is say std cls. And I'll show you how to use this in main. Now, we can't use it right away because it's not included in main. So what you want to do here to be able to use this function is you want to add another include, add the parentheses, and then you see logger.h shows. Now that we have logger.h at the top included, we should be able to use the logger function. I'm just going to press enter. I just want to do it up top. But instead of being able to use it immediately, we have to um, create an instance of the object with it created this way. So what we'll do is you'll start typing in the name of the object, which is logger. And then you give it a name, kind of like how you do a variable. So let's see. I'm just going to name it my logger. Now, if you want to use any of those functions from it, you can just type in my logger, hit the dot, or the period as you want to say. Then you can see we have access to our log function and we can type in hello world. Now we run it. It's taking a second. Hello world. Now you see that this is a lot cleaner when we have one logger and we can keep our functions and other classes. And just for fun, we can we can see how I, I can't plug this in because it's not a string. I can't put this into the logger class because I didn't over. I didn't um overload it, so where it would take integers. But if you see now the y variable that I made public, I'll show you again. So where I'm taking in the parameter, typing in my logger, and putting in dot y. That's the only variable that's going to show up because the x variable will not show up because it's private. And now we can print out the um, y value, integer y. You see it prints out 5. And um, whenever we start doing the game stuff here in the next video, I believe, so I'm going to do it, we'll, I'll explain the use cases of why you would want to have something in the private and not in the public and vice versa but this is just to get you guys a quick understanding of what classes are and how header files work so I'm gonna actually be deleting this stuff out of mine but this was just a good little example to show you alright so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment on what you want to see below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.